Hi there guys, welcome back to step 9 of the introduction of SOLIDWORKS and we're going to be featuring the uh, Revolved Boss Base button. So right now I'm going to go and create a new part and I'm going to select my top plane. I click on my top plane, I say show, top plane again and normal 2. Alright, so now I have the top plane at a 90 degree field of vision and I need to go ahead and draw a profile. Now remember the one that I'm looking for, the button that I'm looking for is in the features tab like so and that is going to be the revolve boss base. Alright, so in this case here I need to give this revolve boss base a profile to work with. So I can only do that when I'm sketching. So I'm going to select the circle button for this instance over here and a nice center line. There we go, we're going to place it nice in the center. Okay, so let's give this profile a feature which is the revolved boss base. I select it and on the left hand side you'll see that the options for the revolve boss base will pop up. Now you'll notice that the actual preview has already given me a display and I've got the full 360 or one revolution um, displayed in front of me already. So I can go ahead and play around with the actual degrees and you'll see that it'll take away uh, part of my display or part of my preview. So I'm just going to take it away to about there and select the OK button. That was that little green button over there. Okay, so let's swivel this around. You'll see that this is a solid object. There's a base over this side and a base on that side. So it's a solid object. What if I want to go and make this object hollow and have it have a body to the outer side of this? So let's see what I mean by it. I'm going to go back to my design tree and this revolve boss base feature, I can go and edit. Remember, I click on there and I edit. Okay, now I said that we wanted to have this shape as a hollow shape. We want to use this profile as the hollow feature. This must be a hollow interior. Therefore, I'd have to go and make this a thin feature. Uh, I've got two directions over here, little features over here, and if I wanted to, I could go and select different contours. All right, so in this case here, I, I can use this area here as my contour. And in, in this fact over here, my thin feature hasn't been displayed. So let's go close this up again. Let's go and create another one. Okay, so I'm going to take my top base over here. I'm going to extend it slightly just so that you guys know that you can actually do that. I'm going to normal it too. And I'm going to be selecting another profile. Let's create a square profile just to change things up slightly like so. And I'm going to be creating a nice little pivot point or revolving point. It's going to be that line. And I'm going to give that profile a feature which is called the Revolve Boss. So this is the second way of handling this. Remember that in this case here it's going to give you that same preview. But in this case when I first create it, it looks like it will only give me that thin feature then only. When I wanted to go and edit this feature over here, it didn't give me that thin feature. Okay, so let's select thin feature. And I want to use this profile as the hollow object, not the solo, solid object. I can select how many millimeters I want on the outside of it. So I'm going to have a 10 millimeter thin feature. And I'm going to also determine its degree of um, revolution. So let's go and open up this revolution to about there and I'm going to select it. Now look at the difference. I have a different in shape but the difference is that that profile now has given me a hollow interior rather than a solid interior like you see over there. Okay so we have two different revolve um, boss bases. This one over here not allowing me to go and edit the feature to give me a thin feature. All right, remember, once you've created it, it stays that way. And in this case over here, I've actually managed to do it as a new Revolve uh, boss. So I'm going to go and edit this feature, and let's see if it'll give me that thin base feature. It does, but you'll see that it is also grayed out. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. So be clear as to what you really want. The only thing that I can go and edit on both these over here would obviously be the degree 
of revolution around its revolution point, which was that center line in the middle. Okay, having them both uh, as separate drawings is quite clear. If I put my mouse over that side there, it'll highlight that and I can edit that feature separately. And so I'd be able to do that on this one here as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed step nine and um, please stay tuned for step 10.